<laughs> All right, a so it begins. <laughs> okay. A kebab. So here we go. So, which one do you want to start with? I would recommend number 12. From, yeah, I was going to say, probably number 12. Just so that would be on the other side, because... The way that this bizarre mess is uh, stuff So, what's the recommendation for her? Oh, oh shit. wait, did I say number 12? Yeah. I think I meant number 11. 11, so Marluxia. Yeah, Marluxia. I meant more Marluxia, not number... Not, not Larxene. Yeah. The, okay, so yeah, but the way that these um things are set up in... With the exception of Zemnis... Yep. Odds, odds are on the one side, evens on the other. And at the very center is the asshole himself, who conveniently has his own marking. Yep. I kind of wish that he had his title underneath, but yeah, that's a different matter altogether. Okay. Yep. But, when we're ready, we got everything situated. Uh, yep, I do I do have glide on, I do have... You want to make sure you have everyone else have items on? Oh, that's true. Okay, so I mean I do have a bunch of items, so so here's, here's what I can do. I can I can give us one of the elixirs. Yeah, clearly that's like the no-brainer and half elixirs, because you also have to remember you want to save some of them for him. That is also true. Or you want to just take off the elixirs now and save them for him exclusively. Probably him exclusively. Then yeah, put on like ethers or high potions. Uh yeah, I probably say high potions because I have a lot more of those. Oh yeah. Alright. Perhaps the same strategy for Marluxia as last time. Just keep a note his attacks are going to be more dickish as the fight goes on. Alright, I'm going to equip uh, them with potions too. Just to be on the complete safe side. Yep. Like I said, they have item slots and we got plenty of items. Don't be afraid to abuse them. Especially at this point. Yep. Yep. Now, during the main story, yeah, don't bother. Because you don't need them to have items. Yeah. Yep. Save your... Save your freaking... Mega potions and mega elixirs for him. Yup. I'm ready for a fight. Or not right now. <laughs> not right now. My but ass more is he's stronger than before. Yep. <clears throat> I'll say. Hopefully you at least yeah. beat Zemnis the beat Zemnis in the main game before you do this. Yep. Meanwhile, when I played the game, I did all the rematches I could before Kota finished the game. So it was painful. Yep. <laughs> So the rematches begin! <laughs> and we start with probably the easiest yeah. one. Debatable, yep. I'm gonna do flamage. What the hell? That's a pro mage! Fuck it! Damn it! Yep, same thing as before, just keep an eye on shit, make sure you don't get hit by his attacks. Yep. Shouldn't need to worry about healing that much in this fight. So Especially yeah. if you grind a lot. So like the like we said before, the count is based on your level. Yeah. So if you grind a lot, just save doing the the reaction commands till you need them. Yep. Now, here's why. Oh, no, well, you did the other one. Oh, I did the other one. Not yeah. Not the restored count one. Now the restored count ones, especially for yeah. this. That one, uh, when he does that stance and you dodge it, that's where um restored count come in. Yeah, if you dodge it, not block it. You can also just abuse your flood guy, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah, now you could have been good to use it, but yeah. all right. Yeah. yeah. At this point, you could probably use it however much you want since you lost a lot already. Yeah. I think I'll be okay. Yeah. But you just gotta know how to keep avoiding him and keep your distance. Yeah. This one yeah. isn't really that bad, but... This, yeah, honestly, this is probably... This at this point, now it's not that bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say of the bosses, he's probably the easiest one because... You just gotta make sure you know how to read his attack. Oh, shit. I accidentally... Your Why? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, if worse comes to worse, you can just reflect it. Yeah, that's true. But yep, these fights are starting again. Yeah, honestly, I never even looked up strategies for fighting these guys, and I did it. I just freaking brute forced it and figured my way through them. I didn't really need a strategy for any of them except for one. Number one. Nope. Number one, one plus three. 
Whatever the one involves dancing. Oh. Yep, that's number nine. Number nine. That's the one I need a strategy for. Yeah. Yep, he's probably one of the most DS ones. He's definitely the most, he's definitely up there in the he's top five. He's not the hardest, but his gimmick makes him a giant pain in the ass. Yeah. Which you guys already know what that is. But it's worse now. Yep. Much worse. Yep. He is definitely, just because of that gimmick, he's up there in the top five hardest. Yeah. Yup. And all because of that gimmick. They say number 12 was one of the hardest, too. I'm a little surprised by that, actually. Honestly, I can understand why, because number 12 is quite an abusive one. Yeah. Because of her... Her Shadow Clone Jutsu bullshit. Yeah. She's like one, of the, like one of the few I never actually died to. Working for you, then. <laughs> yeah. You probably also were, um, had the, uh, thumb uh, dog in the Pokemon. Nope. <laughs> I forgot to do that! The only one I put element protection on was for what was the second hardest one for me, because you're fighting solo. I guess the fight Sora technically didn't do. Yep. That one is gonna suck. Yep. Like, I can almost debate that was the hardest one for me. Yeah, all because the floor is lava. Yep. Yeah. Fire is hot. Fire indeed hot! MPS Stego be your saving grace, but even that might not be enough. Right. I think in your case you may want to start. Restore count! Come on! Uh, Damn it. Not fast enough. Yeah, he doesn't really give you much room for the restore count. Unfortunately. Yep. You gotta like dash at him right after he does the last swing. This is a fight that definitely requires patience. Yeah. Yep. Really, it's more of a patience test. Damn it. <laughs> when you can tell what attack he's gonna do, they'll give you the restore count, though. Because you see, like, the whirlwind around him. Yep. Now, when he does the pinwheel thing, not only does that hit you on the count, it, it also, also damages you. It also damages you. Yeah, anything that has, like, like, dark aura to it actually hurts you, too. Yep. But it's going to be really annoying once you get to the halfway the, point of the fight. Yeah, because the thing is also, the um, the pits there, they do not hit you on the count. They hit you for your HP. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, I rarely ever needed to worry about HP in this fight. It was more the count that kept getting me. And then yeah. Donald usually ended up healing me anyway. Exactly. The problem is, um, you will eventually have to get to a point where you want to try and kill the count. Yeah. 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 I just got like I said, there's two ways to go about this fight. One is just saying screw it and using the reflex spamming like a madman. And the other one is um, trying to pick and choose your fight. Because it's yep. more of a tedious fight than anything else. Yeah, yep. I think the easiest rematch for me was honestly fucking uh, Jazz and Silhouette with a uh, Xenon. Zexian. Or Zexian, sorry. Why is he Xenon? God damn it. I wonder. Yeah. Shit. Oh. That's restored count one too. It, it would have been that, nice. yeah. Yeah, I'm halfway down though. Although, <laughs> it is restore count once. It would definitely be helpful. Yeah, the thing about the restore count. But he count spams is... this all the time. In the first half of the fight, it's really annoying. I'm trying to remember yep. how much uh, you get back in the first. Restore. 13. Yep. And then it drops. It cuts in half every time afterwards. Yep. Yeah. Until eventually it just goes down to one. Yep. Okay. Now you just run away for a bit. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is why you also want Glide. Because look at this bullshit. Weird, yep. I never use Glide for that part. I just do quick steps. And then once he disappears, I then do a big quick step to get away. That. Yep. Like your your dodges are very helpful in this fight. You can time them well. But that's part of the difficult part, figuring out the timing to dodge the attack perfectly. Oh. I was being a little reckless with this, so yeah. I'll yeah. just I'll just redo it. It's I fine. See. I say yeah, this is the easiest fight. I'm not gonna. Well, I say that, but I haven't really done these myself. But uh, looking but, at all these um fights. Together, yeah. This one definitely, I think, is the this easiest. This and Zexion one. are probably the easiest too. Yeah, I was gonna say Zexion's probably the second easiest. 
Yeah. If, if I had Only to because, you know, this, he does the freaking book bullshit, starts getting rid of your commands, and then... Yeah, that's the only thing that makes him kind of difficult, is the, the gimmick for that one. But yep. even then, like... And even, it sucks when he combines that with throwing you in the thing that gets you the meteors. Like, shit, shit, I need to find my commands back before he kills me. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the... That's the hardest part of Zaxian, is just the fact that he messes with your head. Yeah, the, the, me the meteor thing is what really gets me. <laughs> yeah. Because even the absence of Let's Fight, the, the meteor really is it's like, your wife is shit. How dare you talk about Roxas? How dare you talk about Riku? <laughs> I don't know, Zarya's talking about Kyrie. Oh yeah, she kind of sucks. But you're not entirely wrong. <laughs> even the yeah. moral doesn't like her. Yep. Sad as that is. Yeah. Shit. And yet she's supposed to be like an expert protagonist or whatever, maybe. For the time being. Uh, <laughs> at least a million memories is anything to go by. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I don't hate the idea, but... I mean, she probably deserves more time, honestly. Get away! I'm trying... Yeah, that world one sucks you in, too. That's it. Yeah. That's oh. like, I was wondering, like, that you want to jump and glide for, to avoid. Yeah. yeah. Just land as he does his last swing very much, away from him, and then you can just quick step at him. Yep, you want to time your aerial dodges so he hits you in your invincibility frame so you don't actually get hit by that. Yeah, if you get hit by that last strike, you're basically not going to be able to get restore count, so... Yeah. You pretty much just want to avoid it at all costs if you can. You got to wait for him to... Oh, oh God damn it! Damn. I got sucked right into it. Yep. Yeah, that thing sucks you in really hard. Uh-huh. And that's kind of the point. He tries to suck you in so he can hit you with it. Suck, suck, suck. Yep, your mid air dodge is saving grace for a lot of the attack where he just warps at you. That's one thing I've learned doing these rematches a lot. Your mid air dodge is a great tool to God use if you time it right. Because that gives you just a slight bit of eye. Yep, you gotta like time it like right before they hit you so that way you're invincible. Yeah. That's helped a lot, especially in this fight. Like, being able to mid air dodge a lot of his attacks. Thanks, so he can't hit you that frequently. At least that's my personal experience with it. He he's invincible during that. Yeah. It's not like the first match where if you timed hitting him during that well enough, you could actually stop him from doing it all together. No, it's unavoidable. Yeah, this time it's unavoidable. In the regular fight, you could time it well enough. God damn it. God, stop! Sucks that the count's brought by 60. Yeah, well, welcome to the data rematches. Their health is incredible. God damn it. And they will probably fuck your shit up a couple Sucks times is that before you. The whirlwind happens in two areas. One where he does this attack. Yeah, yeah I guess. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna restart it. I I like th this was a waste. Alright. Like, this was a complete wash. Even the easiest one of these is still hard, so, yeah. you know. Don't feel too discouraged. Yep. Just kill me. God damn it, Donald! <laughs> I'm trying to die here, Donald! You can't even let me die right! Damn it, you're eventually! God damn it! I'm trying to die this time! Okay, Donald's down. Now I should be able to die. If it won't be for health, it'll be from the count. Yep. Man. Four! Four till you die! Ah! 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 Oh, fuck. So close. <laughs> Why can't- There we go! <laughs> Thank you! Because like, I was getting comboed. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet merciful heaven, thank god. I can't suffer the humiliation anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... Do you want to do that one again, or do you want to try a different one? I will try it one more time. Okay. Do you have another one in mind that you want to try after this? Nothing in particular, honestly. I'll say the two hardest for me were Zemnis, because of course. And Axles, because... Huh. Yeah. Burn to the ground. Those are the two absolutely hardest ones for me. <laughs> and of course, Dance Water Dance. Yep. But that one, you need to go into the specific mindset, so... You'll never win. He's not wrong? 
<laughs> it feels like it'll never happen. You will always die. <laughs> Wait, what? Get the hearts in a nutshell? <laughs> yep. Well, he does die in the first game. Oh god. Yeah, that's what you also. Oh, there it is. Right now. If you block it, you do this one instead. Which, oh. honestly, this might actually be the better strategy. At least Early right on. now. Yeah. He doesn't do that count. He doesn't do that move to let you recover your count nearly as much in the second half. Yeah, that's the thing about. He doesn't even let you do the move much in the in general. Yeah. He is a dick in this fight. Yeah. Yeah, reflect is a strong, um, a strong spell to have in general in a lot of these fights. Of course, gotta make sure that it's right. Whoa! Fuck you! Pokemon! What the hell? Fuck you! Earl! Oh, I'm not hitting it with my own weapon, thank goodness for that. Yeah, you I think that's all. the aerial dodge, like, right before he hits you, you can usually yeah. avoid damage from it. The problem is, though, you also need to kind of get yourself hit as well as the next one more to do it. Yeah. Because it's the aerial part of it. Yeah. This may have been made. Yeah, see. a little bit. There you go. Oh, you call it pinhead. Oh, you call it pinhead. Oh, you call it pinhead. There you go. That's Yeah, it's either that or constantly dodge. Either force one hit and then cancel the rest, or just dodge all of them, which is always the harder option. God! Piece of shit. Did that ever make this easy? I think I like my count like this. <laughs> Go mess with the count! I like this. You're not cool, don't even convince me you're cool. You've never been cool, Sora, no matter how hard you try. Damn it! Back! Bastard! Oh man, I didn't realize he was even attacking during that. He had that, um, Rose Bomb. Why do you two even join me in this fight? You guys should just be helping me, honestly. God damn it. Yep, he's starting the world when as you start trying to attack him. Yeah. I was trying to actually do a reflect and then he managed to get a hit on me right away. Yep. Woo! Frickin' Marlusha. Son of a bitch. I personally never thought this was the easiest one, though. Even with the rematches, I didn't think it was the easiest one. Because there's a lot of shit going on. Yeah. It's, not, it's it, really it, more of a tedious fight than anything else. Yeah. It, it's more a test of patience than anything else. Yeah. Yeah. Dang it, I'm an impatient bastard. And that probably explains half the reason why. Dang it, Ari. Said what three of mine are the hardest. All oh, I never died to some of the hardest ones, like number thirteen. I never died yeah, to lucky you. Somehow, lucky you. I died to the regular fight, not the rematch though. I was at level eighty by the time that happened, and the ultimate. So, yeah, having the ultimate would definitely help. Yep. Basically, with that is pretty much just okay. I'm nearly dead. Is my MP full? No. Okay. Fly and hide. Yep. Fly well, in the corner and pray to God he doesn't once kill it's full, you. Once cure. Let's go again. Like, number 13 so like, isn't actually that hard as long as you keep track of your MP. Yeah, that's the big problem. And the thing is, if one slip up gets you fucked. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. That's the big thing. And he's relentless is the problem. Yeah. Shit. Thank thankfully, he does a certain attack. Oh! oh it's right there! Damn it! Thankful thing for his fight, though, like, in the second half, he does one attack a lot, which has a long wind-up time, so you yeah. have time to charge, get your MP ready during that, which is nice. Yeah. And I used to think Kiraga would revive Donald and Goofy, but no. It, it does, it but does, you, have, you have to be near them, is oh, the thing. It's a proximity thing. Okay, yeah, because I know it heals them at the very least. Yeah, it, it axes them out, but the problem is you have to be near them in order to work. That explains why I thought it yep. was If only it was viable to fight these guys in final form. Or limit form. 
More preferably a limit form. Yeah. I think I have seen people do online strategies of fighting some of the rematches of limit form and uh, final form. I'm trying and to remember which wrecking their shit. I think I, I think Zexy and I've seen him get his ass kicked in like 20 seconds of the data rematch in final form. Yeah, but it's a bit of a gamble too. Yeah. Yeah, because you have to wait for them to do the right move. Otherwise, yeah, you got, you somehow like time like a never. No, it's more of a gamble like because of the other thing. Oh yeah. Now final form. Though. Well, yeah, Final Form, that is true. Yeah, that's it. Using Final Form, apparently some of the rematch is absolutely broke. I know Zexian apparently can kill like 20 seconds if you do it right. I never tried it, but... I mean, I guess I could do Final Form as a uh, last resort kind of thing. I'll say, because... No, I mainly say that because... Let's face it. These two are fucking useless. That is true. There's also another problem. Oh, yeah. You also have to do the thing of re uh, resetting the counter every single time. That's why I say Final Form. That resets your counter. Does it reset your counter? I thought that's what you said it did. Yeah. Does it use the final form, reduce it by ten, or set it to zero or something? Oh, yeah. it, re it resets the um, the anti form counter for by ten. Yeah. yeah, that's what I meant. That's what we meant. And you want to do that before every single fight, so that what you can do is go into a form in case you're at the razor's egg or at the um, backs against the wall, so you can actually heal yourself. Yeah. It works in every fight though, but two of them. Because two of the fights, you don't have anyone with you to save you. Yeah. Yeah. That's usually why Limit Form would be the only other Actually, option. Actually, no, that's a lie. Three fights. Three fights, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. I guess I forgot the other one. Oh, right. Yep. yep. Final Mix includes a fight. God damn it. I forgot yep. about that one. Yeah. But I played Final Mix and I forgot. <sighs> you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Yeah, if he gets combo happy, he becomes vicious. Yep. Like this. Yep. You keep spamming your recovery. Yeah, you're doing it too early. Yeah. Just because of habit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, that's uh, something the rematches taught me. You gotta time it just so you can avoid the damage. Yeah.